Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and it is Stash Dive Tuesday for September the 6th. And today I am going to be using some of my paper studio collections and trying to get some of this stuff used up and bashed. So I have this picture of my mom blowing out her candle on her at her birthday party. And that same day I was at the pool getting a little sun. So, um, I have these three collections. This one's practically empty in its birthday. I have two pieces of full paper in here and then these scraps that you can see. I have some silver alphas and some stickers and one 3D embellishment. This is summer and it's pretty much the entire collection minus some alphas and maybe an ephemera. And then I have this boho vibes and the only thing missing from here is a single piece of paper and that might be it. Um, so I'm hoping to use at least a couple things out of here. <laughs> um, but I really want to try and bash the papers out of this top collection. And then I have this Crafter Square um, party hat. And then this Recollections collection that I only have three embellishments left. And then I have this Paper Studio washi that I want to get used up. But, I, well, okay, not used up because I just bought it. But I want to use it. I haven't used it yet. <laughs> so, um, like I said, I have these two pictures. So, I have my papers, my embellishments, these two pictures. So, let's see how this goes. So, from the birthday collection, I have these two papers. And from the summer collection, I'm going to use this paper and then this yellowy, shiny paper and then from the Boho Vibes, I'm going to use this gorgeous paper. It's the only pretty paper in the collection, in my opinion, but whatever. Um, and that's going to be my base. So I want to cut these papers down to five and three quarters, but then I realized that's not what I want to do. I want to cut um, each set down. I, I am cutting two at a time um, into a five and three quarters, but I'm going to come back and end up trimming a little bit more. So it ends up the yellow paper and the pink sprinkles paper is five and three quarters by 11 and a half, 11 and three quarters, 11 and three quarters. And then that donut paper and the paper with the ladies on the floats, I cut down to a five and a, about a five and a half by 11 and a half. So there's a little bit of a border all the way around. And so I am putting this um, can no, I almost said confetti. I guess it could be confetti, but it's really sprinkles. I'm putting the sprinkles paper down and I'm going to end up moving it a little because I want them to have even spacing. So, and I may have already done that. So I put this paper down and then I'm going to mat the two, um, papers that have all the icons and stuff on it. So I, um, am now putting my pictures into four by four so that they're going to fit on these little sections that are five and a half by five by five. Well, they're five and a half inches wide. So I want to make sure the pictures are going to fit on there. So it's almost like I'm making two layouts, but on the same page, because this was the same day at the same place. So my mom was, is one of our May birthdays at my uh, family's house. And so, um, her and my aunt, and then we usually celebrate a couple months at the same time. So this was probably May and June. So we have like six birthdays in May and June in my family. And so we had celebrated. And this is the only picture that I seem to have. And this is from 2018. And that summer, my school was doing a summer selfie challenge where you had to take selfies doing certain things. And one of them was like a PSA. And so my PSA was to wear sunscreen and drink water. So that's why I have this picture of me holding a water bottle and sunscreen. Um, so I, it was silly. It was fun. And, you know, I love doing it. But that's usually when I'm being so silly in selfies is when I'm doing something crazy like that. So I got these down and I'm putting this washi on some white cardstock so that you can see it and so that it doesn't disappear into the paper, especially this one, because this paper right here is very busy. And yes, I know it's crooked. I'm going to fix that. Um, so I'm going to use those as my um, shelf for my pictures. And I put this one of my mom up at the top because like this is more about her because it's her birthday. But I do love this picture of me because... 
I think I spent a really long time getting it perfectly aligned because my towel is hanging behind me. You can see my name. Like it's, it's super staged you all. Like this was not some organic, oh, take my, you know, whatever. No. So anywho, <laughs> so I get out the embellishments. This is the last embellishment from this collection. So it's happy birthday, super fitting. And then I pull these three little square embellishments and one of them, oh, I'm trying to get the layout and my chair is so squeaky one of them says make a wish one says have your cake and eat it too one says sprinkles on everything please and um there's no sprinkles on her dessert but you know it's fine <laughs> um but there's sprinkles all over the layout so does that count so i get that stuff on there and then i'm going to use the rest of all these little birthday embellishments um, the little ice cream cone because there is ice cream on her plate it's not green or pink but there is ice cream on her plate little birthday present. There's a birthday hat that gets tucked in up at the top. So I got to use up both of those little embellishment sheets, which makes me very happy. And then to embellish the side of me at the pool, I have um, the embellishment kit that came from the summer collection. So there's a bunch of ephemera as well as these 3D embellishments. So I got the good vibes on there. And then I pulled a little floral and I just kind of put one at the top. So that gives me um, uh, that same vibe that my mom's picture has of her with the happy birthday. And then down in the bottom left corner of her picture is a embellishment with the birthday present. So I put that good vibes up there and then put a little floral on the bottom of mine. So then I decide I'm, I picked the most fitting <laughs> person, I guess, just cause she has dark hair. Um, there's another one in there that has like a bun on her hair, but that's okay. But I'm not blonde and I'm definitely not redheaded. So I did not go with those. <laughs> um, so I tuck all of those in there. I pull out these sunglasses because I think they're cute, even though I don't have sunglasses on. I just thought they were cute and it would look fun to be tucked in just this way. So I'm going to tack those down and attach them. I put this little leafy bit over here as well. Um, just to give it a little extra something. And I also bring in the gemstones that came in the summer collection. That's why I like these Paper Studios collections so much. Because on sale they're like $3. And you get 10 sheets of paper. It's thin, but it's still, you know, typically pretty paper. Except that one collection. Whatever. Uh, and that's just my personal opinion. Um, but it usually has like gemstones, embellishments, 3D embellishments, um, either washi stickers or cardstock stickers. Sometimes it's got alphas. It's just got a lot of stuff in there. And if you're looking to travel somewhere and you just want to take a kit to build, you know, three or four layouts from, it's, you know, really good for that. So anyway, but I have a lot of them from where I've bought them over the years and I've quit buying them right now until I get some of my stash used up. But um, I wanted to bash this one, especially because not the pool one because it's pretty full, the summer one, but the birthday one is pretty much gone except for some stickers. So that makes me very happy. So I'm just adding the little gemstones down. This layout took me about 23 minutes to create. And so those, sometimes that's the perfect kind of layout. Um, I was waiting to make a phone call and I had just enough time to get this layout done. So I then take that rainbow washi that came with the uh, oh, So Much Happy and I put that down below it and I don't mat that because I'm going to overlay it multiple times underneath both of the Oh So, the so Much Happy um, because I can layer it and so it won't show through the design on the paper behind it. I couldn't do that with the So Much Happy yet. I had to be really specific with how I laid that down so the words lined up. And I didn't have to do that with the rainbow. I can just lay it down on top of each other. And it didn't necessarily have to line up with the colors and stuff. So I am just trying to figure out if I need to add anything else. And I think I'm good. So I... I'm going to show you the close-ups. So I hope you'll go down below in the comments. There will be a list and some links for all the awesome creatives who are also doing Stash Dive Tuesday today. I hope you will go check them out and come back again because a little later on today, you'll see another layout from me for Scrap Timber. And then, of course, I'm 
trying to do that every day this month and um, some other stuff coming up this weekend. So I hope to see you again tomorrow and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Happy scrapping.